What's up guys, it's me Smoke and today we're coming back with another clip. Today we're gonna talk about FTW3 and this is the 1080 Ti from the EFGA and this is most advanced and beefy card from the EFGA. Of course uh, they have the Kingpin edition also but I don't have that kind GP on the studio. Today I have EFGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti FTW3 and this is the free fun GPU. So uh, is this, this GPU is fully loaded with the tech, so let's talk about the tech maybe, or maybe specification first. Yeah, let's talk about the specification. 3584 CUDA cores, base clock is 1595 MHz and the boost clock is 1663 MHz. Memory is 11264 MB GDDR4-5X and uh, memory bandwidth is 484 GB per second. Yeah, this is the basic features. Of course, you need the 600 watt power supply for that GPU. Recommended, you know. So this is the thing about that uh, GPU. And uh, okay, the technology what they put on that GPU. Uh, all fans, the independent. The one, one is for the for the GPU, and uh, those two going for the memories. And this is the 9 sensor card, so on the, on the back side you have 3 sensors on, on the VRAMs, 1 on the GPU and 5 on the side, on the right side, for the other rest of PCB, yeah? And you have the lots of the sensors on that card, yeah, 9 sensors. Okay, the, the back side, if we we're on the back side already, we're on the back plate. Back plate is cutted special and uh, it, it's, it's making the really good flow, you know, airflow and uh, this is the thing about it, yeah. The RGB logo, you can change it on the Precision X uh, software, that kind of logo. Also the, the RGB logo on the front, so also you can change the colors. Two times eight pin connection to power up the card, don't forget about that. And you have the OC, manual OC switch, yeah. So master is for the for the basic uh, basic mode and the slave uh, is OC mode so don't uh, don't be you know confused uh, later you know when you're gonna have that GPU and uh, okay the the heatsink is new technology also the better airflow and other bullshit yeah also you have the fuse on that GPU the fuse is somewhere in here I think it's for the critical time you know when you fucked up really some some shit on your PC yeah the all fans the individual connected also one two three you have all those fans fin pins pin fins whatever pins fins king pins uh, those things they, they also patented by the EFGA to take it a better heat so this is the another feature for, for that GPU I'm quite happy today I have that uh, GPU because I have before 1080 FTW2 and I was uh, really happy from the from the benchmarking and the, the testing that, that GPU today I have FTW3 and yeah it's also fully loaded and uh, really massive GPU it's a two slot card, two slot GPU, yeah, so doesn't take more than two slots in your case. Uh, back, back, back connections, you know, what do we have? We have three display ports, 1.4 and we have one HDMI 2.0 and DVI slot, what I'm not gonna use it, I don't know, somehow somebody can use it, you know, still. Think about that card, what I don't like it, I don't like that cover yet, because it's solid kind of thing, but it's kind of plastic, you know, and so this is the minus about that GPU when you, but I think it's, uh, of course, uh, because the weight of the card is already heavy, so uh, they want to take it, the weight from the cards, this is the reasonable, you know, thing, you know, when you make it the design, weight off from the GPU, because otherwise it's not gonna be like that it's gonna be like that you know so you want the straight and nice uh, GPU in your case yeah this is the thing about it okay then uh, this is that GPU FTW3 and let's uh, let's let's benchmark that kind of GPU maybe 4k and 1440p today like uh, the other GPUs so we can uh, check other clips and compare what what is already done uh, with this old tests you know let's jump to my test bench and we're gonna see what we can squeeze from the FTW3 
Okay guys, about the Precision XOC from the EFGA. This is the software for the for this GPU and uh, it's easy to manage and easy to use, you know. You have uh, in here the information about GPU clock, memory clock, you have the temps, power temp, GPU temp and memory temp and uh, you can see by the, the, the on the front panel of the card what how they're going to change and what kind of temperature you're going to have on the on the GPU, yeah. Of course, the green, uh, the, the blues, the, the low, green, medium, and the red ones is uh, too high, yeah? Or it's hot, hot, hot like Jalapeno. And on the bottom panel, you have power target, temp target, GPU clock, offset, memory clock offset. So this is the things for the OC mode. And if you want to OC that kind of GPU, you're going to hit that kind of side. Okay, we're going to go to the settings. In the settings, you have general, fan, uh, the LED controlling, you can control the LED here yeah, if you want to change the colors, of course. Uh, thermal LED, so this is the things when it's uh, gonna go too high, it's gonna show it for you the red on the 83, the greens on the 60s and the one is 20 or yeah, below the 60s, it's gonna show it for you the blue color here, yeah, that kind of sensors. Uh, profile interface, pixel clock and frame rate, frame rate tar target, yeah. So this is the things for that kind of software. And you can check the also, also the sensors and sounds, sensors gonna show it for you all the temperatures around the P PCB or GPU, whatever. So uh, this is the, the thing about that kind of uh, software and we're gonna jump now to the, to the benchmark.
Okay guys, what I'm thinking about 1080 Ti FTW3 from the FEGA. The, after the test and benchmarking, I think that that kind of card is really good performer and is really loaded, fully loaded with the tech, you know. So you have the sensor, you have the really couple patents on that GPU and I think it's one from the most advanced GPUs in the 2017 and uh, yeah, on the beginning maybe 18, you know, because uh, we don't know what, what we can expect, you know. But the performance was really nice. Uh, it has a, a bit sli slightly better perform than uh, MSI 1080 Ti Gaming X. Uh, so, uh, but I'm talking about slightly better perform, not, uh, you know, like you're gonna get like, oh man, what the fuck? No, it's a slightly better perform, like uh, one FPS, maybe two FPS. And uh, sometimes MSI have better, you know, the maximal FPS and the uh, FTW3 have better minimal FP FPS, yeah. So uh, this is the thing about that GPU. Good performance, good, good, you know, design. I really like it. I don't like only the that kind of cover, you know, it's supposed to be like in touch and like metal kind of thing, you know, aluminum or I don't know, kind of special thing, you know, because when you spend like $800 or 900 euro for that kind of GPU you expect you know quite good quality that card have really good quality and really good perform but uh, you know always push the the, the factory to, to make it the better and just give it for the customers the better product you know on the end I would like to see these cards in the SLI I don't have today the SLI for that uh, GPU and I would like to see that uh, also GPU on the water block but I don't have the water blocks also so so uh, on the end what I can say really nice GPU if you can get one get this one you know if you don't like that design just get the other one but for my opinion the EFGA GeForce GTX 1080 Ti is uh, I think uh, the best design on the market right now with the Asus Strix so this is the two top GPUs from from the from the you know two different brands but uh, yeah but I like those designs okay guys if you like that kind of clip uh, let me know in the comments below what do you think about 1080 Ti and thumbs up and if you don't like it you know exactly what smoke wins friendship friendship again and catch you later guys to the next clip take care and keep good i'll be back <laughs> 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 <laughs>